Next, we're going to review the segmental anatomy of the right upper lobe pulmonary artery. So as we start from our right main pulmonary artery, if we first see the segmental branches into the right upper lobe, uh, where we have the anterior segment, and over here we have the apical and posterior segments of the right upper lobe pulmonary artery. Next we have the branches of the right middle lobe pulmonary artery. As we follow our pulmonary artery further, we can see the origin of the right middle lobe branches where we have a lateral and medial segmental branches of the right middle pulmonary artery. And then we have our branches of our right lower lobe pulmonary artery. And it's important not to forget that um, you'll see the superior segment right lower lobe pulmonary artery branch um, even before you visualize the rest of the right lower lobe pulmonary artery because it's extending down from the superior segment of that uh, right lower lobe. And then you'll see the basal segments of the right lower lobe pulmonary artery which include as we go down that'll include our anterior basal and then our lateral basal, our posterior basal, and in this particular patient you can see this small pulmonary artery which comes down and is our medial basal segmental artery of the right lower lobe pulmonary artery. So this was a review of the segmental branches of the right pulmonary arterial tree. To summarize, at our right upper lobe we have an anterior as well as apical and posterior segments. For our right middle lobe we have medial and lateral segments. For our right lower lobe we have a if I can find it there. Come on, there we go. Superior segment as well as our basal segments which are anterior, lateral, posterior, and also medial.